Congratulations to Senegal. Félicitations au Sénégal, les gagnants de la Coupe d'Afrique 2021, the winners of the African Cup of Nations 2021. Congratulations to Senegal once again and also congratulations to Egypt for getting to the final because it wasn't easy but I, I you know like I said in my last video I said this right I said please Senegal try as much as possible not to get to a penalty shootout against Egypt because they're dangerous and their keeper Mohamed Gabal man that guy is good he's good but before we continue guys please if you haven't subscribed to this channel do me a favor by clicking that subscribe button right now and join the family today the market wise family and also click on the notification bell beside it so you can get notified whenever i post videos and give this video a big thumbs up so it can go viral and other people can watch it thank you for that so like i was saying senegal they played really well egypt they also played well even though senegal's possession was more than that of egypt but both of the teams played well they showed a lot of heart but there are a couple of things i want to see about this match that really touched me right a couple of notable moments right so first of all if you guys notice right the in the third is it third minute or fourth minute of the game sadio mane lost a penalty that was a that was a good penalty don't get me wrong the keeper was just too good man imagine Think about it right the keeper he was really instrumental in egypt's victory against uh ivory coast that was a penalty shooter he was also instrumental in egypt's victory against cameroon that was also a penalty shooter so that's why i kept saying please senegal try as much as possible to avoid getting to a penalty shootout against egypt you know what i'm saying but they couldn't do it i was kind of scared for senegal i'm not gonna lie i was i was shaking while i was watching that game because let me tell you a reason why right i felt like senegal deserved to win you know even before watching the game before watching it i felt like they deserved to win they got to the last final just imagine you get into like is it two finals in a row or three finals in a row and then you're not even winning you know that thing that's it's gonna hurt it's really gonna hurt so they got to this final and i was like you know what they really deserve this win and aliu sise their coach twali ah that guy is good so he's basically aliu sise is the first african coach you know what i'm saying or the first coach actually to lead senegal to an african cup of nations victory to african cup of nations glory one of the things i learned from this match is how composed sadio Mane was when he lost that penalty you know he wasn't sad he didn't let that affect his morale at all he didn't let that affect his attitude on the pitch because he knows that if he if he tries to um do anything else from being from staying composed that would kind of affect the senegal game and that might prevent them from winning the tournament that's why he kept his composure and he just decided you know what you know you just have to have that winning mentality have that winning mindset it was calm the entire time even when he got the yellow card later in the second half he was still calm that's what that's what a true leader does trust me and this is one thing i've learned i've, I've known it before but even seeing that on the screen seeing sadio Mane do something like that it just shows that in life right you just have to be patient you have to be calm in certain situations even if you feel like okay it's shaky the 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 the, the, the journey is kind of shaky just stay calm be patient things will fall back into place and that's exactly what happened he lost the penalty he kept his composure he even kept telling the crowd to just keep screaming keep cheering us on keep cheering us on keep cheering us on they got to the penalty shootout Honestly, I was thinking Egypt was going to win that penalty shootout, but miraculously, Senegal won. So, I hope this is a lesson for you guys, man. Please, learn from this. With that being said, let's talk about the reaction of um, the Senegalese president when Sadio Mane lost that penalty, right? I'm going to leave a clip so you can see it. <laughs> so it's just kind of funny though but i'm not gonna lie any president will react that way because of course you would want your nation 
to win the African Cup of Nations. So it's normal. But it was just kind of funny. I just said I'm going to talk about it. That's that about that. And also, I also love the part where after the game, uh, Sadio Mane showed good sportsmanship by walking up to uh, Mohamed Salah and patting him on the back. You know, so on the shoulder, you know, saying, I don't know what he said, but it felt like he said, uh, you know, life goes on. You played a good game, but you just keep your head up. And that's good sportsmanship. Keep your head up, bro. We'll soon be going back to Liverpool. That's good sportsmanship. I really like that from Sadio. He was also the, the best player in the tournament. He deserved it. If you think he deserved it, let me know in the comment section. If you disagree, let me also know in the comment section. What well, the notable moment? Um, yeah, like it was a really good final. That's what we can call a final. <laughs> African football is definitely getting better, bro. Trust me. Even though I felt like um the the referee was blowing his whistle way too much, I felt like the referee was blowing his whistle way too much, man. There's some times where you have to let the players play. This is a final. You know, of course, they're going to throw their bodies on the line. They're going to throw everything on the line so their team can win. But you, sometimes you have to let them play. Every, any little touch, boom, any little touch, boom. And there were some yellow cards that he uh, gave to some players that I did not necessarily agree with. I didn't I didn't agree with some of the yellow cards. For example, the the um, Senegalese, there's this example. The Senegalese uh, captain, who was, a def who was a defender, when he, he jumped up, you know, the ball was in the air at some point and he jumped up with the along with the Egyptian player and they collided their heads collided the, the the Egyptian player ended up falling to the ground and um I guess he had a little bit of problem with his head but I don't think that's a yellow card in my own in my own opinion because they both jumped up you know what I'm saying so but anyways um at the referee I felt like um he, he could have done a lot more better but anyways it is what it is um, I'm just happy for Senegal and another reason why I said Senegal deserved to win this time around was because they got to the last final they lost against Algeria so it's gonna hurt if you get to this fight this year's final and then you don't win like that thing will strike you it's gonna hurt so congratulations to them like Mohamed Gabal I'm gonna say it again that guy is good you know I'm sure there's so many clubs right now that will be looking to sign him he is good. That, that's a good goalkeeper. He read the, the, the penalties well. Do you know that most of the Senegalese players, right, when they play the penalty, before even playing it, he knew which side, whether it was right or left, the way they're going to play. He's like, he had robotic eyes. How can you be that good, man? Edward Mendy too. Top save. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to lie, I was kind of scared. I thought... You know, Egypt was going to win that penalty shootout, but Senegal, they showed a lot of gut, they showed a lot of heart, and they ended up winning. And also, like, the the last penalty, you know, Sadi Mane was the one that kicked the last penalty. The last penalty kick, I was so nervous. You know, I didn't even look at the screen of the TV when they played that penalty. I didn't even look at the screen, man. I just I just covered my hair a little bit. I covered my eyes, you know what I'm saying, completely. And I just wanted to just hear them just jubilating. Hey, that they was, that you know they've it's money I scored and we just start jubilating. That's what I wanted to hear. So I covered my eyes, I covered my ears a little bit so I could hear if he scored or not, right? And then as soon as I hey, and then I opened my eyes, all the players started running on the pitch. I was like yes Senegal deserved this, right? But I felt a little pity for Mohamed Salah and his teammates. I'm not going to lie, but the truth of the matter is like, only one team can win. That's just the truth. Only one team can win. And the best team won on the night. Would you agree with me? Let me know in the comments. You feel me? Um, What else? So now, let's talk a little bit about the analysis of the game. And that's going to be it. So basically, Senegal won um in penalties 4-2 right the major stats the possession in normal time play time 58 percent for senegal and 42 percent for egypt right and even senegal had more passes than egypt pass accuracy than egypt so they actually played way better than egypt though don't get me wrong that doesn't take anything away from egypt's performance they tried but senegal was a better team on the night if we're gonna be honest congratulations to senegal i wish them the best in the future i just hope they keep going higher and higher from here and um yeah they really deserve the win i was really happy for senegal you know i'm nigerian but we are all one africa you feel me we have to keep lifting each other up thank you guys for rocking with me felicitations au senegal le gagnant de la coupe d'afrique 2021
if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do me a favor subscribing right now there's gonna be more videos coming up so do me a favor by doing that right now click on the notification bell beside it so you can get notified whenever i post videos and give this video a big thumbs up thank you for love and support i'll see you guys on the next one okay bye